Hey guys, what's up? It's Tam. Um, I'm going to be doing a really short video today. So if you have no idea what you're going to be for Halloween this year, I have a really quick idea for you. So I'm going to be doing a modern day vampire. So like just, you know, everyday vampires. Like myself. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to take all your makeup off like I have done so already. You see all these little blemishes. Gross. Look at my nail polish. Ignore that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put on a really light, light, like at least two shades or even lighter than that um, foundation on your face. So I'm going to start with a liquid and then put a powder on so that way it'll set really nicely. You might want to put your hair up really fast that way to get it out so you, no makeup goes on top of it. So I'll do that real fast. So once your hair is up, you are going to put on... I'm just going to take like, you can use concealer, liquid foundation, that doesn't really matter. If you want to cover your dark spots first, go right ahead and then we're going to just cover that with a, like a powder foundation. So I'm going to do that right now. This right here is a roll-on foundation, a really light one. Super light, not doesn't like cake it on. Um, I think I got it from like Walgreens, super cheap. Just rolls right on and you're ready to do Okay, so for me, I'm using Studio Fix by MAC. Um, it'll stay on all night. It's great for Halloween, especially shows. I use it for like dance performances all the time. This one's uh, quite light, though. This is uh, NW20, if you can see that. So it's quite light for my face. Because vampires are supposed to have very pale and perfect skin. Oh, my, com my computer's moving on its own. Stay. After that, you can put a concealer on your eye to help the eyeshadow that we're putting on next stay on. Put it all over your eye. Though. Your eyelid, you can go even around the inner part of your eye and then all the way up to your brow bone and out like that and then I'm going to take just a regular brush like this and I have black MAC, I'm running really low on it but I just have a regular black MAC color and go like this closest to your lash line and then you're going to follow your your cut crease right here. Okay. Then you're gonna take, this is what I always use, I love this trick. So you're gonna just take any type of flat surface, like so, or a piece of hard paper, regular paper is gonna be hard. People use tape sometimes. I'll just like get an envelope or anything really like really fast. So this is fine, you're gonna go connect it to your bottom lash line and angle it up like this. And then you're just going to follow that line right here. Lightly push your brush so it blends back into your eyeshadow. And then it should make a really cool line like that. And then the same to the other side. Like that. Blend it with your fingers. Okay, so from there, you're gonna take, a, I have a really bright Ben Nye red shadow. It's kind of messy because it gets all over the place, but it's red, super bright, great for Halloween. Um, yeah, it's Ben Nye, and then I'm using my Tokidoki brush from Sephora. I love this brush, like, oh, cute it is! Um, and yeah, you're just gonna jab it on like that, and you're gonna go, you're gonna blend it on the outside of the black right here lightly at first and then you can go a little bit harder afterwards just so that, that there's that red pop of color and you're gonna go all the way down to the corner so you'll see it there then blend it out towards the center of your eye blend them in like that so from there, you're going to take a nice silvery shadow. Um, mine is from MAC. It's called Retrospect. 
and you're just gonna dab that on the center of your eyelids, right where there's that empty spot. And then you can blend that in with a blending brush, but for me personally, I always like to use my fingers because I have learned that it is like the best blending tool and it's free. From there, you're gonna take your black liquid eyeliner. Um, I have my Rapid Black MAC liquid eyeliner pen. And you're just gonna go do a nice little cat eye with these. So you're gonna wanna follow that line you made, so don't go under it, cause yeah, just a really nice line. Um, and then you can take it all the way down to your bottom lash line, just a super, super thin line, like that. But just so it goes right into that same line that you made with your, um, your eyeshadow earlier. All right, from there, after you've done your liquid eyeliner, you're gonna take a, just a really thin angle brush and dab that on your black eyeshadow. And you're just gonna go over your eyeliner on the bottom just so you know, make it a little bit more thicker and bold without making it too harsh. All right, like that. Um, and then you can go ahead and fill in your eyebrows how you do it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use an uh, eyebrow pencil. Right there. All right, so like that. And then you can take a light eyeshadow and just highlight your brow bone. I'm using Naked Lunch by MAC. This is the color right here. You can kind of see it. I don't know. Oh, I have makeup all over my hands. Um, and then just simply highlight the brow bone with this. So you want to highlight your brow bone with that. And then you're going to go on the inside right here too. And then with that same color, I want you to go right under that black line you made earlier to highlight that line as well. Don't go over it, but right underneath it. So after you've done your, your eyeshadow, your eyeliner, your brows, all that stuff, you can either just use mascara or you can use lashes. Now I would prefer you to use lashes because it definitely opens your eyes and makes them look huge. But if not, if you don't have time for it, you can go with this. So I am using False Lashes by MAC. It's called False Lashes, not actually False Lashes. But that's to give the same effect. So you're just going to go ahead and put that all over both of your lashes, not just the top. So with this black, you're just going to fill in your waterline right here. Go all the way in. Um, there's a black pencil eyeliner. Mine is called Smolder from MAC. Alright. There you go. Right on your waterline like that. And if you are putting on eyelashes, you can go ahead and do that right now. I have these awesome lashes. They were from Walgreens, so check it out. Alright, so once those are dry, you're going to take a bright red, like the brightest red you have. I don't have a super bright red, I wish I did, but I only have um, Brick from MAC. Um, just outline your lips. You're going to want to go even further in than you usually do with your liner on the outside creases. So now take a deep red lipstick. I am using, it's called Frost New York Apple by MAC. Really nice color. Mine is not, not pretty old. So I'm just going to take that and fill in your lips. Like that. So it goes a little bit darker on the outside and then it fades in lighter when you get to that part. Alright, from there you can go ahead and take your hair down 
Um, if you want to, you can curl it, straighten it, you know, fill it out how you want to. Oh, mine is crazy. Um, definitely, I would say volume, but I mean, if you want to do your own version of it, go for it. Fix my bangs. Um, and then, of course, because we are vampires, we're going to add our vampire fangs. I got mine from Hot Topic, and I got them last year as well. And I wear them all throughout October because I love them so much. The fangs take a little while to get used to because you kind of have to talk like this because it pushes your mouth out a little bit more than it used to be. So I have a little bit of a slur, but it's, you know, you can deal with it. It's fun. And they look super natural. Look at that. They look like my teeth. I love it. Okay. And then, um, yeah, then you can just go on, put a black dress, some heels, play it up how you want to. You can be more modern with it. You can go, you know, more vintage with it. It can be how whatever vampire you want it to be. All right. So here is the final look. I just grabbed something super fast from my closet. Just all black, you know, keep it like lacy, kind of more goth on the goth side. And yeah, here, here it is. Super simple. I just have like a black dress, heels. Yeah, modern day vampire. Love ya. Okay, hope you have fun. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Mwah.